problem back in the, from back in the days. I think it was 2000, 2005 this time that drum and bass was really big in Germany before Neon Life came up. <laughs> so we missed it more or less. But nowadays, um, I think it's more um, the local scenes which are going quite well. But we have, I think, sometimes two less producers. Maybe like Austria, you have a quite small country and lots of really good producers and really good parties. And so it, this combination makes the scene alive and big. And we have just Berlin, Leipzig is quite well as well, where I'm from. But yeah, it's more the local thing. So we don't want this big rave, so it's techno. Yes, I think Blackout is a part of Black Sun Empire and Black Sun Empire is, is so big, it's, it's, yeah, they are, they brought us to drum and bass. I can remember when I bought this first Black Sun Empire record, I think everybody can tell the story, but it was so important for my, for my personal career in drum and bass, for my love to drum and bass. And, now Blackout is going really well, we have a lot of good artists coming with good releases and it's a good combination of being friends and doing a good business and I think this is, this is the key for us, that it works well and we feel happy and that's it. New tunes. When? Date? No date as of yet. Well. I wouldn't expect anything in the next three or four months. We're working on, on something bigger than a single release. EP? Maybe. I Album? I have no LP? Idea. So, to be honest, I, I, I don't really know what's gonna be the next one. But uh, we are writing tunes like we are doing a bigger project, you know, not not the last one we we wrote like okay let's make two tracks for the dance floor and release it as a single. This time around we just do whatever whatever comes to us. I remember I've told this story a zillion times but it, you know, one of my first gigs ever was uh, my first gig with Misha abroad was in Russia in St. Petersburg and uh, that was organized by a mobster or by the son of a mobster and after the party ended uh, you know we were supposed to go to the hotel and he was like no we, we're gonna bring you to Dacha which is like a summer house for them and we're like uh, okay this is gonna be weird so we took this like 45 minute ride into the middle of nowhere ended up like walking through the snow for 20 minutes or something like that and then, uh, yeah, we got to the summer house, and uh, Mr. Mobster was there as well. Uh, he, he only spoke Russian. He had a fucking huge shotgun, and he ended up like, he started talking Russian to us. And we were like, yeah, I can speak Russian. He's like, what is he saying? He's like, yeah, you cannot leave the house until you shoot the gun. And we were like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, we ended up shooting beer bottles with a, a proper Russian mobster, which was, yeah, pretty impressive for a first ever international game. Yeah. No, we're friends. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely friends. Okay, we should, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we've, done some, we've done quite a few tracks together as well. Uh, yeah, no. Noisy are definitely friends, man. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's just, you know, because of the differences and yeah no yeah okay it's it's weird you know when we started uh when we started early in our career they they came and, uh, they came to see us and they, they were they were tiny i think martin was so young he couldn't get into the club and tice was walking around with his headphones and stuff uh would have been yeah that would yeah that was 2000 that must have been 2003 or four as well yeah. Uh, but yeah, we you know we've done tons of tunes. Mm, uh, yeah. oh, so it's hard to describe your own sound. I don't know. 
a hard question, yeah. Yeah, it's a hard question, yeah. You know, uh, tight bits with twisted bass lines. So, uh, okay, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a combine with smooth, uh, smooth, and he's more melodic, I think, because you are hard, yeah. uh, hardly a man, and I think the combination with you together, yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah, we meet in the middle, yeah, probably. That's what happens in the studio. Yeah, we are getting ready to do an LP. That's, we are talking long about it, but it just... I don't know, it, it will happen when the time is right, I guess. Maybe 2015? Uh, not sure. <laughs> I can't see. I said, I said too many times next year, so... <laughs>